Right, a very good evening to all of you. This is uh, the first among the series of Chiman Tunjia uh, on forecasting for the investment decision. Now, uh, for those who are very new to Chinese metaphysics, this is the wrong class to be in because Chiman culminates all the other uh, disciplines that you have. So in order to be familiar with Chiman, one has to be familiar with the nine palaces, the Feng Shui grid, Pache, with the five elements, and also something new as well. So since today is the first session, and I do not think it will be proper for me to go through the fundamental background because of the complexity. So I'm going to take a strategy of arranging something that all of us can take away and straight away apply. But even though, uh, let it be known that there are always layers upon layers of things to learn. And from those who are familiar with what we have covered thus far, there is always an exception in everything. And therefore, here, before we proceed, you should have the PDF copy of the material, as well as also the notice for you to download this app. Uh. Now, I'm sure some of you are familiar with Dato Joey Yap. He has his website as well. One can also go to his website, which is cmatools.masteracademy.com, where it's being shared on the screen right now. So therefore, as I share this screen, you can visit his website, Dr. Joey Yap's website, uh, free registration and download the chart that is, you can also plot the chart here. And likewise, I would also share one chart uh, one app uh, that you can download in Android. I believe Apple can also do the same now. Uh, that's called MChiman. So all my charts, I will make reference to this freely available app called M, uh, MChiman. And you can register yourself. And for those who have to choose between the two, uh, Chaibu. Uh, uh, so you just go for Chaibu and not Chirin. I'm sorry, I'm just pronouncing Chinese words in English slang uh, or phonetics no, rather than in Chinese phonetics itself. Right, so for those of you, this will be how the app would look like. Now for first comer or newcomers to Chinese metaphysics, as I mentioned from the beginning, this is, sorry, somebody, uh, this is the wrong class to be in. Yeah, uh, It would be best if you can start to learn Chinese metaphysics either in the five elements, the Pachi, or in flying star. And here you'll find Pachi combined with flying star, combined with the eight gods and the nine stars and the doors as well. And therefore, uh, there are layers upon layers of things to reveal. Uh, there is a high level of complexity to discuss Chiman. So Chiman is something that uh, you should put last uh, to study if you like. Or maybe I Ching. Uh, these two are equally complicated as well. All right, so let, let me just go through the few basic stuff to begin with before we proceed. Yeah, so today is definitely at uh baby level, yeah? baby level. Uh, All right, yeah, and so please, please do not. Uh, this is of course a sharing, therefore, do not uh, hesitate to ask question at any time. There is, of course, no silly question, yeah, as it is. Uh, okay, come. Let us uh, look into what are the source materials that our sharing will be relied upon. We have Dr. Joey Yap, who have published multiple books on Chiman. Therefore, the books that I may have referred to is the Forecasting Methods and also the Warcraft. There are also other books which are thinner and easier to read huh? in, in easier English like this, uh, Yi Pei Ming, uh, master, How to Become a Function Master. It is basic Chiman. There's also another book by Jerry King, uh, which is residing in Canada. Uh, he has also published a few books on Chiman as well. Uh, therefore, these are the materials that you can refer to, read and try to comprehend uh, uh, the areas as well. Okay, now as we look into Chiman, what can the studies of Chiman do for you? It can be one part, another method that is familiar to what we have covered so far, which is destiny analysis. And last year and the year before that, we started a series of Pachi, which is then uh, 
a concept of destiny analysis uh, to understand your natal chart. Uh, therefore, here you can also draw and plot your natal chart to then fully understand and comprehend it like what we would normally do as well. We could also use feng shui, just like because feng shui does have the plate of the flying stars. And we can also now look into strategic execution, which is a course of action, uh, that somewhat like a planning. Uh, so this is more for planning certain things to do, direction, location, or basically we come to forecast. Now forecast would then be another name for divination. Uh, divination. Now, for those of you who are interested in using or apply Chiman, what I would strongly recommend that you start today is to have simply a Word document. Eh? Just, just simply have a, what we call a very simple uh, file, so to speak. Just, just open up a file, which you can just call it uh, My uh, Chiman Diary. Eh? Diary. So you can have a diary. So in this diary of yours, uh, it would be crucial or vital for you to document and to record the questions that you have asked, either you yourself ask or somebody else ask and you are now the consultant or the one who advised the person. No? So therefore, they are, uh, therefore, you can keep a diary and then you can record and later in the passage of time, you can come back and validate and validate your actual experiences against your forecast. Therefore, you do back testing, you do your own validation. Therefore, you come to learn when, how accurate your forecast has been and how useful it is, all right? And for whatever reasons, if you do not find yourself effective, then uh, you better contemplate on whether you are using it wrongly or whether it doesn't work for you, then, uh, this is important because why? Because we, we make important decisions of our lives relying on the chart. And money is involved, lives can be involved, health can be involved. Huh? Therefore, uh, we want to have a more scientific approach towards achieving it huh? as it is. And so this is where the last one is somewhat a bit more different. Huh? And for those who subscribe to Taoist belief, huh? so this is where the use of talisman, the use of charms can also be employed. But so especially Taoist priests so would normally do that uh, together with other disciplines along the line. And so here, uh, for today's purpose and also for our series, we will only stick to the first. Huh? We will only stick to the first. All right. And just a little bit more to uh, consider again what is the backdrop. And if I were to share again, uh, even 2,000 years ago, we have Plato uh, uh, during the days of the Greek philosophers, Socrates and Plato. They also, uh, Plato was also a member of this uh, mathematical cult uh, that also comes to uh, believe very much in mathematics. And in their mathematics, uh, they came up with the five platonic solids, which are very similar to what are called the five elements fire, air, earth, water, and ether. Therefore, there's the five elements. And to cut the long story short, uh, without going too deep into it, uh, vortex mathematics, uh, which is very deeply mathematical, and even the popular scientist Nikola Tesla uh, did mention that if you know the power of three, six, and nine. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, the number three, six, and nine will be somewhat uh, a number that uh, that, that, that comes in uh, to play a role in, in forming that divine uh, numbers. So meaning to say that there's a lot of mathematics behind uh, what we do here. It's just that the mathematics are actually quite complex and very profound and deep. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, just uh, this is like the, 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 the tip of the iceberg. Uh? So the tip of the iceberg is uh, 369. Huh? Uh, therefore, when you uh, add up your number, whether it's 3, 6, or 9, it will be somewhat huh, of the divine number. All right, anyway, uh, a, a bit more later as we go through the course, slowly, layer by layer, we will try to reveal it. So let's take a look into the magic square, for example. Huh? Look into the magic square that we have and also the understanding of the Chinese metaphysic concept of the five 
the five elements. So plateau, we'll call this the five solids, the five uh, uh, area, but here we have the five elements once again. All right. Uh, so to fully comprehend anything, whether it's studies of Pak Chi, whether it's the study of Feng Shui, whether it's the study of anything inclusive of Yi Ching as well as Shimon, the understanding of the five elements is always there. This is the fundamental uh, concept of the interactions of the five elements still the same. So we need to know the productive cycle, the countering cycle, the weakening cycle or the destructive cycle. And these cycles again uh, uh, will come to play it uh, as we uh, move along. All right, I have no time to talk about the refresher. I'm sure these basic elements is still within your memory. Yeah. Well, okay. Right. Now here comes to the multiple layers of the basic hierarchy. Now, when you look into the chart, of course, huh? I mean, a, a, a very quick look into the chart, you can see that the chart is complicated. Huh? You can see that the chart has many, many things. So there are many, many things in the chart. Now, the question is that uh, if you want to document and write down and to analyze every element of the chart, I think by the time you're done, the hour would have passed. No? And therefore here, uh, the, the first thing to do is that if everything begins with the question. No? Everything begins with a question. All right. So everything begins with number one, the question. The question that is asked. Now here there are a few debate or a few things that we need to know. The plot is just the plot is charted when a question is asked. So that is how we look into the path of uh, using Chima uh, to, to, to come up with the forecasting, uh, to, to come up with the forecast. Now, so in terms of the question, the time is important. The timing is important. And therefore here, usually it is the question of the asker, whoever who asks. Now, our today's session is on investment. If you are the investor, then the time is when you are the one who asks for it. Not your, let's say, your relationship manager, your banker, your broker, your remiser. Now, some of you may have huh, relationship managers, uh, financial advisors, bankers, brokers, who may text you, email you, call you to invite you to invest. Huh? Maybe you receive an email. Huh? or maybe a notification that comes and says, hey, I got an investment idea for you. Why don't you buy this bond? How about this structured product? How about this investment, property, and so on? All right, so once again, let it be known that those are invitation for the investor. Uh, that time doesn't count. Huh? It doesn't count. Because they are not the one asking the question. You are the one asking the question. But if you are, let's say, of course, the practitioner of Chiman, people, know, your friends know you and they ask for your consultation. I tell for, uh, that is then the question. Uh, the question. Uh, okay, so first of all, the question is the issue. Uh, the issue. Therefore, the, 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 the question, the, the thing to ask here is what is the issue? Uh, what is the issue? And usually, more often than not, uh, we consider that the, to look into the issue is the hour step. Is the hour step. And so, based on your Pachi chart, or the chart that you plotted today, the hour step is here. Therefore, when we look into the chart here, it appears that the issue now is called thing. Huh? thing. So, thing fire becomes the issue. And so, when you refer to the hour stem, the thing fire is the issue, you now look at the chart, look at the chart and find out where thing is. Okay, find out where thing is. And therefore here, 
you can find that thing fire is located. It is located in the Chen Gua. Therefore, it is in the Chen Palace. Okay, so therefore, it's located in the Chen Palace. Right, so therefore, that's one thing. So when you ask a question, you have to identify the issue. What is the issue? So identify what is the issue. The issue can be a person. Or so somebody can say, I, I'm asking for I'm asking about my nephew. I'm asking about my son. I'm asking about my husband. Therefore, the issue is a person. The issue can be, of course, an issue and a topic, wealth. I'm asking about my investments. I'm asking about this. I'm asking about that. Uh, therefore, here, uh, the first thing to do is, what is the question? Huh? And so we come to the belief huh, that uh, this would be, of course, huh, the issue that uh, ask and you shall receive. Huh? This is sometimes when people have a question that they want uh, heavens to answer. And therefore, here I believe uh, this will come into the part uh, of the divination uh, that says that when you ask, uh, and you shall receive. Uh, you shall receive the answer, uh, not receive the item. Uh, this is. Now, secondly, of course, you then ask the issue. Uh, the second part is, of course, the asker. So the asker is a person. The asker is not a person. Who is the asker? Who is the asker? That would be now the next thing on the list. And the asker is symbolized in the day step. Huh? In the day step. So the asker is symbolized in the day step. And so this will be your kung. Huh? So it happens to be kung metal. So now we need to know where is where is kung metal. Huh? So where is kung metal? So we can identify that the asker, there's the day stamp. The day stamp is the kung metal. And the kung metal happens to be located in the Xunhua. Huh? Happens to be located in or the location. All right. Therefore, this will be the beginning uh, of how the chiman begins to work. And from here, we will now move on to... Uh, now, we need to see, once we have plotted that, we can see that when we talk about stamps, and when we talk about the asker and the issue, uh, both the issue and the asker, we are referring to men, the level of men, the level of humans. What are the influences that the humans will have? And we can immediately relate this man to the palace. That's why we want to find out where the location is. So the man in relation to the location. So that's, that, that, that's what we have done. That's what we have done. We, uh, once there was a question, the chart is so once there is a question, the chart is plotted. Once it is plotted, we need to know the stamps that are in uh, that are related to it and also the location. Then here you have to decide for yourself, or you have to find relevance whether or not, huh? whether or not you need to involve earth, heaven. And the universe. And in certain occasions, you don't have to. And therefore, not everything comes to play. Now, everything can come to play. Everything can come to play. The question is whether do you want to analyze huh? or whether you know, use such level of complexity. And if you do, then go for it. Yeah? Okay, so we have to look into Earth heaven, and universe. Now, one thing uh, that I have been taught, uh, and also I do find that 
uh, this is something that is important or crucial, is that uh, I, I'm sure Dr. Joy Yap and many others will also have to say the same thing. That when it comes to Chimen, when it comes to Chimen, we are aware, we are aware that there is a spiritual dimension. Huh? We are aware that there are people who practice the spiritual component of it. Uh, but more often than not, huh? uh, when we trace back huh, to the to the original practitioners, many of them uh, actually, of course, do not involve huh, that spiritual component, or it can be separated. So meaning to say that when we refer to gods, uh, or when we refer to spirits, uh, uh, they are not in a belief, uh, an actual entity uh, or an actual deity. Uh, one can always, uh, Dr. Joya will always mention that these are actually just within your own subconscious mind. Uh, so therefore, in every aspect, uh, everything here is in your own mind. All right. Uh, but of course, we may want to look into certain things uh, that are beyond your control, something more uh, divine by nature. Yeah, let's see this. Okay, maybe I'll just come to refer to it. Huh? Now, again, before we proceed, you really need to know your palaces. You really need to know the original uh, places as they are, the original uh, location as they are. And when you do look into the chart that is given to you, all these numbers in the chart, no? all these numbers in the chart, they are the original numbers. No? They are the original numbers. This chart has always been called nothing more than a three by three chart. And okay, if, if you take the top column, 4 plus uh, 4 plus 9 plus 2. What do you get? 4 plus 9 plus 2. What do you get? 15. 15. Uh, 15. When you break 15, 1 plus, 1 plus 5. Huh? If you take 1 plus 5, you actually get 6. If you come down, huh? 4 plus 3 plus 8. 4 plus 3 plus 8. What do you get? 15. Also. 15 or so. 15 or so. Okay, I think we all know that to cut the long story short, left, uh, left to right, top to down, top, bottom to up, is it always add up to, it always add up to 15. Huh? It always add up to 15. Right? And even in the flying star, it also always add up to 15, whichever way you get. Or you ever get to 6. Lah, huh? 6. Huh? Uh, therefore, again, lah, huh? 6 is always that... Uh, and if you, even if you look into the, even if you look into the so so this plate so what does this plate actually tells you huh? so what does this plate actually tells you as well is that they are basically location direction I'm sure you know that huh? east uh, west south and north huh? as it is being pointed and I'm sure many of you would also know that uh, the chart huh? the chart where Number nine is actually south. Huh? Number nine is actually south. Because in the concept of meta science, fire, fire moves upwards. Fire moves upwards. Therefore, south huh, is uh, always plotted on top. And water comes down. Huh? Water is heavy. Water moves down. Therefore, north is down. So making it easier, and then making it uh, rest here, yeah, as it is. Okay, so therefore, this will be just to understand uh, the direction of the nine palaces together with their elements. So what is important here to outline on the palaces is the elements, yeah? metal, earth, fire, water, wood, earth, and wood. Yeah? Right. So therefore, this will come to play Afterwards, yeah. So the so the elements of the palaces, very very important, huh? very important. Uh, later, we also need to know that all the other deities and stars and doors also have elements, and therefore when the elements uh, strengthen each other, counter each other, there is a special reading to it. 
And therefore, this is where we can increase the layer of complexity when we come along. All right, so this is from the app itself to show what are the what does all this actually mean. Huh? So therefore, we'll try to uh, we'll try to tear it down one by one. Okay, in the first part, let's take a look into the hierarchy. Right on the top, you have your the God plate, huh? the God plate. So the eight gods, huh? so the eight gods that you have, and also in their English version, huh? English version. Huh? Therefore, you have the leader, the serpent, the darkness, partner, tiger, black tortoise, nine earth, and nine heaven. Therefore, these are the eight gods that we have, the god plate. Then you have your heaven plate. So the heaven plate all usually start with Tian. Huh? So you have Tian uh, Fu, Tian Chu, Sin. You have Tian Peng, uh, Bandit, Diplomat, Impulse, and so on. Therefore, you have the heaven plate. And lastly, you have the human plate. And the human plate are all known as doors. Huh? Known as doors. All right. So for those who can't read Chinese characters, nothing to worry about. Just focus on the English words, and that should be just fine as well. And for those who can read Chinese, then all the better. They can just refer to the original numbers. Huh? So therefore, we know what are the plates. Uh, so therefore, there are multiple plates that move in this manner. Right. Secondly, we then look into the, the, now the heavenly stamps. There are two levels. The first one is known as the heaven plate. And the heaven plate is also somewhat what we know as gas. Huh? Yes. So when you look into the gas. Now, in the early days of Chiman, especially uh, people like uh, Chu Keliang and also Liu Bowen uh, are known to be military strategists. And therefore, when they look into Chiman, they use a lot of gas and hose, whereby gas and hose are attackers and defenders. And therefore, their analysis of attacker and defender is often used huh, in order to uh, come up with military strategy. But anyway, uh, more very often we re when we refer, we refer to the heaven plate, stem to be the beginning point. Okay, then we have your human plate. And lastly, this is your hidden stem, huh, the hidden stem that we have. All right, okay, so this is just a very quick run through of an introduction. We will continue to come back in our future sessions to go deeper, layer by layer, uh, as we uh, uh, reveal each component of this particular chart. But let's just come to something that we can have a takeaway today, uh, something that we can straight away use. All right, uh, and for our first part, we're looking to uh, divide uh, or forecast for investment decision. And so, in investment decision number one, again, uh, the day master, the day master is the person who is asking the question and the hour stamp represents the wealth or the products involved. Uh, therefore, we look into the day master, we look into the hour stamp. This will be the beginning of what we should begin to do. And now, secondly, let's look into the other component that we should look at, which is the heavenly stem for the the heaven the, the stem for the heaven plate, which is the Wu. Huh? So Wu Earth, huh? this is your Wu Earth. And Wu Earth represents your financial resources or it represents wealth. Okay. Therefore, your wealth is your capital. Huh? Your wealth is your capital. So the wealth is your capital. And Shengmen uh, represents the return or the profit. Okay, so you should also be looking into uh, the, this is the way called the life dog. Okay, that's called the life dog. Okay, so so these are the four things that you start with. Huh? These are the four things that you start with. You start off with 
the issue, the asker, and then of course now, the next step for you to do is to look into the woof. Where, where is woof? Okay, here in this chart, where is woof located? Woof is located in? Southwest. Uh. Southwest. Uh, Southwest, yeah. Kun Palace. Huh? So woof is located in Kun Palace. That's right now, huh? Southwest. And now, again, huh? uh, what does Kun Palace basically means? What does it mean? What, what element does it rule? Is it ruled by? Is it ruled by? Earth. Huh? So therefore, Kun is, uh, Kun Kwa is your palace. Okay, next, we then look on into your fourth item which is then your life dog. Uh, for those who are new uh, to this, uh, for those, I uh, know, no, I mean, some of you have been listening to uh, uh, my, my friend Andrew, who I've recommended, and some of you have listened to Dr. Dre Yap and so on. So you, some of you may be quite familiar with this, but just... Uh, just to make, but for those who are new, this may be a bit daunting. Uh, I... Can trust you get an overload of the feng shui plates and the uh, uh, and the elements together with the stars all coming together, and therefore we can identify where the life dog is. Yeah, so these are the things you can identify. Okay, then we need to know where the life dog is. Huh? Qian Palace. Uh, it is in Qian Kua. And Chen Kua is what? No, no, metal. Metal, correct. Chen Kua is metal. Okay, anyway, if you cannot remember Kun Kua is okay, or Chen Kua is okay, it's fine. But just to know that, uh, that uh, number two, palace, this is earth. Uh, this is earth. Again, that's why I mentioned that this is important. Uh, this is earth, and this is in metal. So your capital, uh, your capital is in earth, and metal is your profit. And now, the relationship between the two. What is the relationship of earth and metal? Producing. Producing. That is important. Huh? That is fantastic. So capital producing profit. So if it is countering, uh, then the answer is no. Don't invest. Huh? If it's countering, then no. Therefore, that's where we now come to form our first relationship because earth produces metal. So earth produces metal, capital produces profit. Therefore, there's a productive cycle. It's positive when the question is for investment. So this is where we come in. Okay, so look, uh, so look into the reference. Again, uh, we have the day master. We have the hour stamp. So the day master represents the person. The hour stamp represents the wealth involved. Compare against the door. We're going to do that. Wu earth represents the capital. And if, uh, these are special consideration. If the capital resides with open door, kaiman, if it resides with the open door. And so that's where we now uh, go deeper to look into, uh, does it resides with the open door? That's a question. What door is this? Open door. Open door. Uh, therefore, the Wu Earth resides with the open door. Now, open door is auspicious. Open door is auspicious. Open door is also metal. And therefore, the palace produces the door. The capital is there. So therefore, here, this is at the first level. So remember one thing, right? It is like an onion, huh? level by level. 
you, you need to know that this Chiman plate is multiple, multi, there are multiple plates superimposed on one another. You have the palace, you have the mant, the doors, you have the deity. So, so the first layer is positive. But don't jump the gut. Huh? Don't just, uh, don't, uh, that means don't make your decision now because there's still things to proceed with. Huh? But at the moment, this is where you slowly unravel yourself, find out where the Wu, Wu Earth is, and then find out what door the Wu Earth is with. And if it's an open door, that is good. Huh? That is good. There we have. Huh? Right. Then the location. Huh? So the location of the Shengmen huh? is where it is the profit and the profit that one can make. Huh? That one can make. And here, uh, live door is earth element. Okay? Open door is metal element. Uh, uh, live door is earth element. So if it is located in a palace that supports its element, then it is positive. If there's an auspicious configuration, uh, sorry, today is not the day we talk about auspicious configuration yet, uh, but let it be known that if that palace has the three nobles, one of the three nobles, he would ping fire or ting fire, chances are it's positive. And therefore here, we can then say that uh, it has a sin, uh, metal, but a he would uh, has the earth. Therefore, somewhat it's a bit mixed. But anyway, that would be uh, that would be the starting point uh, that we can look at. Uh. Okay, so that's that, that's how that's how we can then start to unravel itself. Now there are other things in mind, there are other things to consider as well. That we so as we go deeper into it, uh, so let's go deeper into it. As you go deeper into it, we can see that there is this element that is called kongwa, emptiness. So this represents death and emptiness. Death and emptiness. Huh? Kongwa. So in a simple analysis, kongwa just means everything here is 20%. Just consider that it, it, it weakens everything. Huh? It's, like a, it's like a deep discount of 80%. So whether it's a negative energy or a positive energy, everything comes down by to, to substantially reduce. Huh? So it has been weakened. Therefore, the capital is weakened huh? in the negative structure as well. All right. Huh? Therefore, that's just... Uh, the beginning, uh, starting point to look at as well. Okay, come, let's move along. There are also other things to consider. And now let's step up to the effects of the gods, where you look into the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, what we want to look at is location of the gods. And from there, Let's take a look into the chart that we have plotted here. Okay, and part of the gods that we have plotted, we have on the capital, we have, uh, if we look into this, uh, all this that we have, uh, what do we find? Huh? So what do we find about? So what do we find about our investments? Remember, there are a few things that we need to do. Our, our wealth investments is here. Our wealth in our 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 stem is here, and the issue is here. Okay, now let's take a look into number one, 
the issue. Uh, so there are four, there are four issues here. Uh, one, two, three, four. So number one, the issue. The issue resides in the Chen Palace and the residing, uh, the residing deity is called Nine Heaven. <coughs> That in deity is nine heaven. And nine heaven is auspicious. So make advancements, investments, expansions huh? is auspicious. Therefore, this is where we find that the issue, huh? the issue. And the issue, of course, is your investment. Number two, we look into the day master. The day master is here. The day master is under the best sign, the chief. The day master is under the chief. Now, once we see the chief, the chief is somewhat like a reverse uno kind of a power. Basically, it dispels and weakens all other negative energy. And therefore, here we can see that the day master is under the residence of the chief. And the issue is here. And now let's find out where your capital is. Where is our capital? Our capital is Wu Earth, which is under darkness uh, or tide, uh, which is here, moon, uh, under the moon or the darkness. And there's a lot of misinformation and hidden agenda. Moon is about information. Moon is about a certain knowledge that about that particular issue that you don't have, that you do not know about. And so there's a bit of a hidden agenda. Uh. So consider some misinformation, rumors, or just wrong information. And now let's take a look into uh, where your life door is. And your life door is under what we know as white tiger. Or sometimes hook during the yin. Huh? Therefore, that's where your profit is. Loss of wealth. So therefore, there's a loss of wealth. So in simplicity, negative stars. Huh? So straight away, negative stars are your hook, tiger, phoenix, tortoise, and snake. Uh, these three are primarily negative, which actually, of course, also denote. Now, when it comes to... now, uh, But again, uh, again, try to bear in mind that it also depends on what kind of investments are you looking at. Whether you're looking at speculative investments like blockchain, cryptocurrency, or are you looking for investments like bonds? Especially later when we look into other issues like Fu Yin or Fan Yin, you may find uh, that sometimes for bond investments, certain negative stars are actually positive. Okay, so again, uh, you have to uh, later uh, uh, try to then uh, understand the exceptions and the complexities involved. Okay, uh, because, uh, well, again, uh, uh, in military strategy, sometimes you are the attacker and sometimes you are the defender. Uh? Uh, therefore, uh, some of them are, well, basically, it just means that if you are an attacker, when you're an attacker, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't slow, you don't make slow, slow decisions. Huh? If you're too slow, then your attack initiative is compromised. Huh? Like Russia, like that, huh? in a way. Huh? They inch very slowly to Ukraine, allowing plenty of opportunity for huh, the West to send weapons to Ukraine. Huh? So if you're an attacker, then you need to move very fast. But when you're a defender, of course, huh, then you may be more conservative in your strategies. Uh, therefore, the game is different, right? So, that, let's, so, so, let's, so that's why it's sometimes not so uh, 
it, it may be a bit naive, huh? or it may be a bit too um, based to treat negative as perpetually negative and positive as perpetually positive. Huh? So just bear in mind. So, so right now, today is the first uh, sharing. Therefore, today we go very generic. Huh? So therefore, generically, then cook and tiger, phoenix and tortoise, snakes are negative. Huh? So if you see them, if you're not too sure, then avoid. Huh? Therefore, that would be the first, uh, the, the, the first step. Okay, so generally, lah, most of the time, it's like that. Lah. Huh? And if it's like that, then you just play the game as you go along. So only as we share more, and more and more things are discovered, then we can see how the reading huh, can be prepared. So that's why you need to keep a diary. Huh? Keep a diary and write down the things to do. And so now let's take a look into the... So, so as we can see, we can say that the day master is protected. You, huh? this is you. So you are protected. You are... Uh, that, that means here you will find that your decisions huh, will tend to be the correct one. Even though we find uh, that uh, the, the production of the profit uh, may not go as smoothly as you anticipate. Uh, I think due to certain misinformation about the capital, uh, certain things that may later come in, uh, that you may not too sure where the source of funding comes in. All right, uh, more towards it. Let us now move on to the next level where we have the effects of the stars. Okay, uh, again, with today's sharing being very basic and something practical, let's put it this way, yeah? two very negative stars is Tian Peng, which basically can mean grass, no? it can, or just the robber star. And Tian Chu, no? Tian Chu no? which is also something no? that uh, provide very heavy losses. So for all of us who are beginning uh, to practice this, the moment you see uh, Tian Peng or Tian Chu, it's a deal breaker. Uh, then that's it. Don't go, don't proceed further. Now, where do you find which is your profit, okay? And therefore you'll find that this is the profit. This is where we have our life dog. Uh, where do we find, uh, where do we find capital? Uh, so where do we find capital? We find capital in, capital is here. All right, so with this, it is quite enough. Huh? It's quite enough to consider that the investment question, huh? if the question comes in to say that if I were to invest, what will be my outcome? The outcome will very likely be the suffering of losses. And sometimes the suffering of losses due to certain misinformation about your capital huh, that comes in. That will result in heavy losses. And therefore with this, and the, and the thing now is, can we ask ourselves when? Huh? When do you think this loss will happen? When do you think the loss will happen? Can, you, can, you, can all of you remember that uh, under Chien, what are the zodiac animal sign? What is the animal sign for the chen kua? Sorry? Pig, pig, pig. The pig. Okay, that's very good. You can remember, right? Uh, dog and pig. Dog and pig. Okay, excellent. Uh, here I have my own uh, Excel. Uh, this is uh, this is my own personal one, huh? Excel, you know, I have my animal sign. So if you remember your animal sign, then that'd be great. Huh? Okay, so, so that's why that's why I encourage you to keep a diary because you know uh, the timing as well. 
because don't like don't like just say there will be heavy losses because if you look into investments like cryptocurrency yeah huh, there will be heavy losses of course lah there will be heavy losses huh, but they also fantastic gain uh, therefore you cannot just say there will be heavy losses because that the kind of uh, the kind of prediction is like well, sure correct one lah you just wait lah wait lah wait until the because like they say like even a even a broken clock is right once a day yeah huh? or actually twice a day lah huh? mechanical clock even a clock is correct lah huh? uh, twice a day huh? within twenty four hours okay so in that case here the location gives us the area that in the in the time of the dot are we we say in the time huh? in the time because it can be hour it can be the day or it can be the month uh, so it all it is relative to your question huh? uh, therefore in the time of the dog uh, time of the dog but of course dog is already uh, 7 pm lah huh? uh, so obviously the share market closes ready in malaysia lah so this is not always about kelci lah uh, not not an investment in malaysian or any other day investment huh? so it can be usually in the month of october so maybe in october maybe in uh, November, October, November. Uh, so this is where we may want to consider uh, that the heavy losses will be there during the period. Okay, uh, during the heavy period losses are there. Uh, so that part we need to see the time itself. Okay. And then of course, we can then form uh, that the investment will be very much heavy losses. So sometimes, again, again, you can see that uh, what is positive here is that the day master. The day master resides under the leader, which means that is a very powerful position to be in. And so generally, the answer is no. Uh, so for a, more, for a more basic answer, the answer is no. Don't proceed. But for those who still want to proceed, then uh, get out before October before the heavy losses comes in. Therefore, that would be something that can be a bit more advanced. So, so the answer uh, can range from very basic answer to a more advanced answer, depending on how you're able to use this chart to your fullest exposure. But for first level basic beginner, this chart is bad uh, for investment because you hit the jackpot for unluckiness. Uh? Because of all the nine stars, uh, uh, Tian uh, Peng and Tian Chu are the two most inauspicious stars. And in these most inauspicious stars, there is where exactly your profit are and your capital are. So it's very risky to proceed. Huh? Very, very risky to proceed. All right, now other stars. Let's take a look into the other stars. If you find yourself uh, having this uh, Tianren, uh, therefore this would be auspicious. Uh, therefore it would be a financial reward. Uh, that would be good. For impulsive and emotional, uh, Tianchong is all neutral. Therefore the, these two blue, the blue stars represent positive stars. The white one represents neutral. Uh, they just represent neutral. And therefore, the orange color here represents negative. Therefore, this is where you can just look into it. You all right? So now we also need to look into other areas, as mentioned, the placement in the chart. So if the palace of the live dog contains positive structure, produces the palace, therefore that can be good. It's a positive forecast. If they share the same element, it is moderate. If you see countering, then it is a bad investment. That's quite obvious. But if you see the Wu Palace produces the live door actually, yeah, or the other way around, therefore it may suggest that you wait it out no? for it to happen itself. Uh, therefore, the Wu Palace produces the live door is one that you wait it out. It should be the live dog produces the uh, 
Okay, come. Uh, let us finish up with the last element here. Let's take a look into this particular chart. Right? Uh, this one is some time ago. So first and foremost, uh, first and foremost, you begin with asking the correct question. Uh, one thing as a piece of advice is uh, do consult the chart in a serious manner. Uh, it is not advisable for you to trivialize, trivialize it. Eh? Trivialize it, because at the end of the day, eh, uh, approaching the chart is approaching something eh, that uh, comes to the inner subconscious of your mind, especially when you make a more serious decision eh, whether to invest or not. And so remember that the chart is plotted at the time of the asker. If let's say, for example, right now, right now, uh, somebody WhatsApp me a message and ask a question. But I do not know about that message because I'm talking to you right now. And then after this session, after this session, and then later on, I may, uh, I may not be aware of the message. I go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I wake up. Then only I read the message. So I may, I may, I may be reading the message tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, let's say. But the WhatsApp message came in now uh, at 10 o'clock. And therefore, the chart is plotted based on the time the asker asked the question. And therefore, we plot the chart based on the time the asker uh, asked the question. Okay, here. And the question, uh, and when you, when you ask the question, please frame your question. Uh, please frame the question in terms of experience. In terms of experience. Uh, please frame the question. So let's say, for example, if you have a diary, uh, if you have a diary, you can say that on your diary, let's say, for example, on your diary, you can put that on 8, uh, on 8 of May, on 8 of May 2022, at 10 p.m. Okay, uh, I receive, uh, I receive a message uh, uh, from my relationship manager. He suggested that I invest in uh, I invest in these stocks. Okay, so look at it. Right? It says here on the 8th of May 2020, on the 8th of May 2022 at 10 p.m. I received a message from my RM. He suggested that I invest in the stock. But again, again, this is the message from my RM. He is not the asker. He's not the asker. I am the asker because I'm the investor. So I'm the one who wants to ask the question. Therefore, that date and time is not important. But of course, if I responded immediately, therefore, I coincide because I received the message, straight away I plot the chart, and therefore, this is now the same time that me, uh, the asker. And now the question is, what is your question? What is your question? Okay. Your question should be framed in a manner that says, what will be my experience if I were to invest? What will be my experience if I were to invest? Therefore, that's the question. Okay. Therefore, that's the question. Once there's a question, now you plot out the four things. Huh? You plot out the four things. Okay, now, so likewise here, let's take a look here. So likewise here, it comes in the same thing. Uh, let's say, for example, this question was asked on the date given. What will be, what is your question? A few things. You can look into number one. Straight away, you can look into number one. What you can do, you look into the hour step. Right? You look into the hour step. Where's the hour step? 
uh, are we located at Chen, Keng located at Chen okay. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. Therefore, you are looking at Keng. Huh? So, uh, please don't get confused. There are two. Huh? There are two. Take the one on top. Huh? The one on top is from the heaven plate. Huh? That's the guess. Huh? Don't take the one from the bottom. Huh? Because you can also find another Keng here. Huh? So, don't get, don't get confused. Huh? You can also find another Keng here. Huh? So, you take the one. Anyway, it's blue in color. The chart. Blue in color. Therefore, it's Keng. Located. Huh? Located in Chen. Chen six palace metal. Okay, uh, therefore, okay. So look at the chain. And over there, what do you have? What can you observe? Nine Earth deity. Okay, the deity is nine earth. All right. Yeah. Uh, and the palace is in Kongwang. Is in death and emptiness. Correct or not? Okay, the deity is nine earth. Huh? Okay, nine earth deity. Nine earth deity. All right. And what, what about nine earth deity? What about nine earth deity? What about huh? the nine earth deity? Auspicious. Okay, so the nine earth. Deity is auspicious. All right? But that is at the level. Huh? So therefore, you can see that that is, you can say that the night of deity is auspicious. And then, what about the star? The star is Tian Qin Tian Rui. And what about that? What about that? What about the effects of the star? The star will be Henry complications to perform more in-depth analysis. Henry. All right. And then the stars. Huh? Therefore, you can see the stars. The star is Tian. Which actually means more analysis required. Yeah, that is the part you can see. Huh? Star is changing. Then we can see what is the. Uh, so, therefore, so therefore, you can find out that with the combined analysis, that is the first step. Huh? That's the first step to look at. Now let's take a look into the second part. So, so, so we have covered the first part. You can look at the issue. The day master, where is the day master? At uh, Li Gua Sao. Okay, fine. So the day master, the day master will be G Earth, uh, located in Li Gua, uh, a fire palace. All right. And you have the serpent and the impulse and the life law is there. Okay, fine. We'll just keep it in mind. We'll come back to the third issue. Now we need to find out where is the Wu capital. Wu capital is located where? Kun Kun. Okay. Kun Palace, which is Earth. All right. Which is Earth. Okay, so which is Earth, right? We will we'll put everything into perspective first. Okay, which is Earth. And what is the door? Huh? What is the door? There? The door is injury. Now, injury or shangman uh, is actually uh, also known as indirect well. Oh, 
also known as indirect law. Huh? And in that door, of course, the deity is the leader, which is good. And we also find that the, uh, that the star, uh, the heaven, uh, the heaven star, is Tianfu, uh, which is uh, the advisor. So if you take a quick look into the part, uh, that means we have the effects of the star, we have the Tianfu, scholar star, wisdom, knowledge, which is positive. Ah, therefore, this is where we begin to uh, come up with more. And then, what is number four? Number four now is your life dog. Which is located in South. where? South. Right. In South, okay. South. Which is the fire dog. And so now, let's take a look into some analysis that we can do. Huh? Okay, the first analysis that we can make is between the capital, between the capital, huh? so you look into the capital and the life block. Okay, one is earth and one is fire. What is the relationship between fire and earth? Producing cycle. Producing cycle, excellent. Therefore, we see that it will be the Wu capital. Eh? The Wu capital palace. Eh? Right? The Wu capital palace produces the life door palace. Wu capital palace produces, earth produces fire. Or you can say fire weakens. Eh? Fire weakens the earth. That's why there's no produce. And therefore, if the if the life door and if the life door counters or if the Wu Palace produces the life door. That's why the Wu Palace produces the life door. And therefore, the forecast may suggest better returns to be made in the future. Currently, the Wu Palace produces the left. Therefore, this will be falling under the reading here. They may suggest that better returns in the future. Therefore, this suggests. Therefore, this may suggest, suggest better returns in future. Now, when we say produces better return in future, what future? When is the future? Again, what is the animal sign? What is the animal sign for South? What is the animal sign for South? Horse. 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 Very good. Okay, in the time of the horse. June. June, correct. Okay. Therefore, we don't just say uh, in future. Lah. What do you mean by future? Future means the time of the house. Huh? Uh, time of the house. Which of course, again, uh, horse can be what? The day of the horse? Is it like what? Next week? Or is it like month? And so very likely, lah, very likely more investments like shares. And I think uh, mostly in months. Huh? So we use months more often. Unless it's property, huh? should I buy this house or not? Should I buy this property or not? And then maybe the horse may refer to the year. Huh? You wait up, huh? because now Federal Reserve is increasing interest rates. Huh? So therefore, it may mean the year of the horse huh? rather than the month of the horse. But that is where normally we know huh, from the question. That's why the question is very important huh? to know uh, where we can see. And therefore, we can see huh, that there are a few things to suggest that we should uh, read it out a bit. Huh? We should read it out a bit. Huh? So therefore, that's the one part of the uh, an, a, analysis. Now, moreover, one thing that you must, uh, that we need to continue that 
the investment itself is in emptiness. Eh? So remember, you can say eh, that the investment itself, the investment idea, the investment idea is in emptiness, eh? death and emptiness. So the investment idea, which is the Kung metal, is in death and emptiness. And the day master, the day master, the day master is under the serpent. The day master is the chi is under the serpent. Teng is under the serpent. Inauspicious. Uh, mm. Problems and blockages. And, and the star is tian job, which is abrupt actions, impulsive and emotional. Okay, uh, let, 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 let me just let me just of course bring back uh, to what, what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean? Uh, let me uh, sorry. Oops. Uh, let, let me just uh, uh, let me just bring back what it means. The and ten chong start. Now, so what what it may mean, uh, what it may mean now, like serpent deity. Is something okay? Like the word serpent itself tends to be a bit negative, huh? Sorry, a uh, fire. Eh, sorry, a uh, fire produced. Eh, sorry, uh, Robin. I think you have a bit. Sorry, did I say something? Oh yeah, you 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 are right. Sorry, I am uh, mistaken here. The Wu Wu Palace. Sorry, Wu Palace. Fire produces it. So it's, uh, you mean to say this is Sheng Men, uh, live dog, uh, produces the Wu Capital Palace. If Sheng Men, uh, so yeah, the fire produces, the fire produces. Fire producers of this, right? So you can refer to fire producers of if fire producers of in the Wu Palace is a positive forecast, the timing is favorable. Okay. Therefore, this is a, it's a favorable. Favorable investment, right? Sorry, the timing is still the same. I will, I will still stick to the same timing. Huh? So just a better returns in future. Uh, the timing, huh? the timing is still on the horse. We still stick to the same time. Investment idea is in definitely the day master is under survey and area. Therefore, here there's a tendency, yeah, the tendency uh, to to act impulsively, to act impulsively and under and under. Uh, you know, sometimes sometimes we can have what we call uh, hard selling pressure. Hard selling pressure. So sometimes as an investor, we may be emotional. We are, uh, so therefore, you can see that the day master is acting emotional. Uh, is acting emotionally. The day master is uh, Jia, which is impulsive. Which is impulsive. And therefore here, uh, I would say that it may be suggested that further, that further, uh, uh, further, uh, further delay uh, to the action should be made uh, into one part. Okay, so in that case here, yeah, finally, uh, finally, uh, one would we'll say that uh, what is the what is the final advice, uh, or what is the conclusion? Uh? So what is the conclusion? Uh, here I would believe uh, that. The conclusion here would be 
to, to delay, to delay investment until June. Or until the horse, eh? until the horse month. To delay investment until June. Wait it out, no? wait it out. And in a way, us again. No? Us again. Now, in the earlier, in the earlier example, especially here, uh, in our in, in this example, we have Tian Peng, the bandit, and we have Tian Chu, the destroyer. In this case, the conclusion here is no. The conclusion here is a no. Do not proceed at all. Do not proceed at all. Here, in this conclusion, uh, we can conclude, no? or we can come to a conclusion that no, do not proceed now, but you can ask again. Now we can revisit, right? we can revisit this uh, again in the future. And so, so, uh, so basically, uh, uh, that, that would be how achievement can be used to address investment decisions uh, or any other questions that we can ask. Of course, in the studies of achievement, we can look into questions pertaining to marriage, career, lawsuits, marketing decisions, sickness, exams, and feng shui, and all the multiple types of questions that one can uh, possibly ask. Huh? And so in the coming series, we'll just share about what are the, what are the key questions to ask huh, when it comes to this as well. All right, I hope uh, uh, anyone has any other questions to take away. And so remember, uh, do ask, huh? uh, do keep a diary. Like for example here, this okay, this is my personal diary, so I shouldn't be sharing with you. Huh? So, uh, so when somebody asked me to invest in an OCBC structure product, I plotted a chart and I analyzed it. So when uh, and then of course, uh, when uh, when somebody invited me to buy a bond, I would then plot a chart and then to invest it. Let's say for example here. On the 8th of March, somebody asked me to buy the bond, not to buy the share. At the time, the share is 9.30. At the time, the bond is 90. Eh? At the time, eh? therefore, I can say that eh? at the time, the bond is 90, and this is more downside. Eh? So let's take a look into the share price today. Let's take a look at the bond price today, shall we? So the bond price today is... Uh, So the bond price today is 87.59. Huh? So therefore I shall update. Huh? Therefore, therefore the price. Huh? Therefore has an update. Huh? Has an update. So has an update. The price has at uh what day is today? 8 of May. Huh? 8 of May 2020 is uh how much is it? 87.59. 59 uh, is 87. 2022. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I don't, why? I do not know uh, why am I keep going back to 2020. Okay. So, uh, so, so, so this is what you should do. Okay. This is what you should do. Keep a diary. Uh, keep a diary. Every time you ask a question, you plot the chart. And then you analyze the chart. And then you come up with your predictions. So the prediction here says that, let's say for example, when I plot this chart, so when I plot this chart, so when I plot this chart, so somebody asked me, somebody invite me to invest, so I plot the chart, straight away, okay, now if you want to skip the day master and the capital name, you just go for Wu Earth, you just go for Wu Earth, and then you go for your life dog. Shall we do that? Okay, Wu Earth and Life Door. And, and here under your Life Door, you got Tian Chu. Very negative. 
capital major losses. All right. And then what is what is what is Chen? What is Chen element? Chen element is metal. Metal, metal counter is, wood. Yeah, that's right. So metal, so there's a countering. Huh? So number one, there is a countering. Number two, you have Tian Chu there. Uh, therefore, these are negative by itself. Huh? These are negative by itself. So if it's negative by itself, therefore Tian Chu is a very inauspicious you know, start, failure and financial losses. And then, uh, but here, here, I have Tian Fu, which is a scholar star, which is positive, taking a fundamental approach. So we need to say that it's a bit mixed, you know, it's more like the answer today is no. Huh? Today, the answer is no. But you know what? October, November, I'm going to come back and look at this board. Uh, so that's what it means. Huh? Uh, so right now, it's negative. More downside to come. Therefore, at that time, the bond price is 90. Today, is 87.59. So had I invested, I would have lost. Huh? So no, don't invest. So should I come back and look at it? Yeah, you can. Okay. So this is not the this is not the server dynamic no uh, and never come back. Uh. Uh, this is more like yeah, I'll I'll come back. I'll come back uh, because why? Because Tian Fu, uh, where is Tian Fu again? Tian Fu again, uh, where is it? Uh? Tian Fu again is a scholar star taking a fundamental approach, uh, taking a fundamental approach. Therefore, when you invest in bonds, you need to take a fundamental approach, you need to look into you know, bond, bond, bond issues, uh, interest rates, environment, currency, and to see whether there is some area. So when should I come back? When should I come back again? Uh? October. Okay, I'll come back October. So we'll see. Uh. So if you're still together in October, then we can, I can come back and update this diary again. Uh? Update this diary again. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. Right. Therefore, this is like my diary, and so therefore I have all kinds of uh rap. So whenever you have questions, what will you be if you invest in this bond or that bond? Sometimes the answer is okay. So when you get fun yin, uh, uh, therefore the answer is also no. Uh, fun, yin, uh. fun yin means a uh, very volatile twist and turn. Uh, therefore, the answer is no. Fu yin is slow. So it's very, very slow. Uh, so for bonds, okay. Because bonds are supposed to be slow. Uh, so if you invest in bonds, slow is right. If you don't, volatility. Okay, uh, so therefore that's what you should do. Start keeping a diary. Uh, so have a diary and then document all the questions, plot the chart and then monitor. Then you can come back and see whether are you correct. And then what, uh, remember there are many more, there's a lot more layers to go. There are a lot more other issues. But of course, uh, one, let, let's put it this way. Like, if you decide not to apply achievement until you fully understand everything, then uh, by the time you'll be ready to withdraw your EPF money and no need to invest really. Like, huh? Because I'm still learning today as well. All right. Okay. Oh, April. Yeah, maybe later. Huh? I think there's one thing. Oh, the grass and the ambassador. Yeah, lah. Because of these copyright issues, every one of them have their own different labels. Huh? So you have to align them together. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all in all for today. Oh, it's already 10.30, already. It's far exceeding the time. So that's it. We'll call it each other uh, a good night from here. Anything, we'll just keep on on the WhatsApp message. Yeah? As it is. Okay, good night, everybody. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Something that you have to experiment. Thanks, David. Uh, yeah, welcome. Most welcome. Please experiment. Uh, please experiment this uh, on yourself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay.